So this is going to be the mirror that I use for the new desk. It's from another old dresser. And my kids call me a hoarder. You can tell I got it from the thrift store because that's the thrift store sticker. It's been in the garage probably mm, <laughs> maybe, maybe as long as I've been in the house, five, six, seven years. Be careful if you're multitasking because the wood from the mirror hit the back of my chair that I was painting and I had to fix it really quick. I can hear my mother right now in the back of my mind, Tish, you are so hard-headed. Tish, why are you so hard-headed? I'm trying to tell you how to do things so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made. Well, if any of you are like me and are hard-headed, stop. Stop what you're doing. I need you to listen. My brother told me in the other video to read. Well, not only should you read, you need to measure. And since I didn't read or measure and I tried to eyeball it, now I got the little short leg. I got the short end of the stick and I got to figure out how I'm going to fix that so that my mirror is not wobbling and fall off the dresser. Yep. <laughs> you know how butter knives always just sit in your drawer and there's always a lot of them. There's never a lot of spoons because somebody eats them. There's never any forks because somebody stole them. But you always have a slew of butter knives. Well, that's what is in my garage, in my tool area. I just use a butter knife for everything because it's always there. But anyhow, mix up your little welding glue or paste or whatever you want to call it. And smear it on the back of the wood because it is a very good adhesive for the mirror. Once I finish smearing that welding paste on the wood like butter, I made sure to clamp it so that it could seal properly. Packed my bags, hopped on the flight, and went to go see my other YouTube sensation, my son, for a couple of days. And when I came back, it was sealed solid, it didn't budge. Okay, so although it was sealed, I noticed that it was rocking and I do have small grandchildren and I did not want that to rock and tilt and crush one of them. So I had to pull out my table saw and cut a couple pieces so I could make a solid base to make the mirror stable. And don't be laughing at my clothes either. I know I went from Michael Jackson to hobo to pajamas and lipstick. And you just can't really figure out my wardrobe or, or what look I was going for. Actually, I wasn't going for any look. It's my home. It's my garage. Anything goes out there. <laughs> and this time I'm going to measure. It may be a little ghetto hood measure, but I'm going to measure it. Once I got it stable to where it was sturdy then i'm gonna do my little <laughs> my type of measuring and then cut the bottom slats that i shimmied underneath the mirror yep that's gorilla glue but i made sure that i glued the correct product <laughs> I don't even know why I tried to work without my multi-purpose butter knife. Okay. Have on gloves. That's exactly why you should have on gloves. And I'm preaching to myself. Ew. I gotta go wash my hands. Sorry. Be back.
ain't it with me, baby? So I didn't want this the same color as the desk because the desk is just temporary. You know, eventually I'm gonna earn that million dollars and I'll be able to buy some of the things that I want. I still probably, more than likely, knowing me, will be a frugal person no matter how much money I earn. That's just always been me. And I'm not, I'm not, um, a brand whore and I'm not real materialistic you know so you can't take any of the stuff with you when you die that's how I look at it I don't knock anybody else that don't see it that way because some people look at it as they worked for it and they want to enjoy it while they're alive I have no qualms against anybody and how they choose to live but me even if I was rich I probably probably would still be frugal but I wanted to do this brown, I mean, just stain it because just in case I get a new desk or a new vanity, I didn't want to have to buy a mirror if I didn't have to, if I didn't have to. And if this one could match anything, that's why I wanted it. Just a simple, neutral color. And to be honest, you know how older things always lasted longer. The wood was better. That mirror is really heavy and heavy duty. And I believe to the pit of my soul that this one is much more sturdy, much more durable, and will last much longer than the two and three hundred dollar little vanity mirrors that I saw on other websites. Because I started to purchase one first, and then I'm like, no. This one is gonna last longer and it looks more um, antique. It looks more fancy because of the little wave on the side. I actually was happier than with this than the ones that I saw online. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I only give products two reviews. It's either gonna be a that's what's up or it's gonna be a what's up with that. And these Hollywood lights for $15.99 a box, <laughs> that's what's up. I feel like I paid $10 for the mirror, $30 or $32 for the lights, and I have something that they were charging two and $300 for online. You can't beat it. Go this route, because I'm going to tell you I'm in love with my mirror, and that's what's up.